Hello, YouTube. All right, so it's December 30th, no, 29th, December 29th, and we are about, you know, a month and a half into this garden. Uh, as you see here, this is that new box that I was talking about. This is the box that uh, our, our kid's doing here. He's got his garden going, and he's digging that. Um, I'll show you that in a second. We'll do the reveal there. I've just got this uh, uh, plastic on the top of it, just because it's kind of getting cold at night, and this last box here was um, pretty slow to germinate. The other ones are doing pretty well. He's got radishes, carrots, um, mustard greens, and I transplanted some of the peas from the bigger box over there into his last box there, just to give him a head start on that. Um, so let's check this out. Let's do it. Boom. Check this out. These are now doing really well, all these little sprouts. We did, you know, um, what, four rows, three in each row, and they've all germinated. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and these radishes, these are from uh, Native Seed Search, although I got the seeds for free from Valley Permaculture Alliance, and after these um, bolt, I'm going to collect some of the seeds and give them right back so that more people can get free seeds next uh, winter to grow their own radishes, because I'm all about sharing the surplus here, and that's what permaculture is all about. And, you know, in here we've got, uh, I believe, some mustard and carrots, like I said. These, I don't remember what these are exactly, but I really like these, uh, like, burgundy leaves. It's pretty cool. Um, and there's his peas. They're doing really good. So now we'll come over and check out my boxes. I thinned out. I had three little cabbage sprouts there, and I thinned those out. Uh, ate the sprouts, and they tasted delicious. Um, here I've just got some salad greens growing and one of the native onions right there. Uh, and then in this box I've got more of those onions. Um, and in this box there's some more but also some dill and I think a few other herbs. And then in here what I've done is I just, you know, we had some celery, and so I uh, used what I wanted from the celery, and then I thought, why don't I just see if I can put this in the garden and see what happens, and I put it in there a couple weeks ago, and it's actually doing pretty all right. So, I mean, it's it's a total, total little experiment. I don't really care what happens with it. I'm just seeing what it does do. Um, this is a Moringa branch that I just got a whim to try to uh, transplant, but it didn't uh, <laughs> didn't take very well. And over in there, I've got another moringa branch inside of a uh, plastic apple juice bottle that's empty. And I took the wrapper off that, and then I uh, had some sand for some uh, cacti that I just made a little cactus garden out of for my partner for her Christmas present. Um, and so I figured, you know, might as well put this bag to good use instead of just throwing it in the landfill. So I used it for a little, uh, double greenhouse effect there. So we'll see how that goes too. Um, and then over here, we've got the big box as I have been referring to it. And I mean, these peas are doing great. I'm really excited about those. So these are some wood chips. I went over to Jake Mace's house did some gardening with him. These are actually the same kind of peas that he's planting. He got his from the, uh, I think, Great American Seed Up event, though, and I got mine from Native Seed Search. Same variety seed, though, so however you get them, just get them and uh, grow them, because they're doing awesome, and I'm looking forward to a bunch of sugar snap peas there. Um, and then I've got another head of cabbage here, another one there, and again, more herbs growing there next to it. Um, the dill is supposed to sort of be a companion plant that just kind of, I think, masks the uh, aroma of the other plants so that if there's 
insects that are messing with the garden, they'll go for the dill first. I believe that's the function it serves, but it also is edible, so why not? More salad greens over there that I was supposed to thin, but uh, I'm going to let you in on a secret. I don't really like salad that much, so even if those greens don't do very well, I don't really care. Um, this whole first time gardening, this winter garden box was kind of an experiment in and of itself, so I mean, that any of these things are growing makes me feel really good. And again, you know, this is that native, uh, not native, uh, that free Tempe city compost here and I I mean I'm super satisfied with this look at this, this is great all I did was add a little bit of rock dust and I mean a little bit I didn't go crazy like you see in some videos where people just dump it in there I'm I'm what you call poor so I don't uh, have money to just blow on rock dust and other things like that so I'm sparing with it uh, but here are the beets and man these beets I uh, thinned these as well and the sprouts on those taste so good. Like, I don't even like beets, but those are really good. Um, so I'm looking forward to the greens and the actual beet tubers there. Uh, should be pretty good. But anyway, quick update, and that's it.